I think the big uh, crisis that uh, uh, many of us have to uh, wrestle with is a little bit the crisis of trust, public trust in institutions and organisations. So I think if you look at many things like the Edelman Trust Barometer, which gives us a sense of how uh, the informed public is looking towards institutions like companies, like politics, like media and like NGOs, we start to see that that trust that the public has in some of these institutions is declining. And I think that's something that all of us you know, have to be aware of and all of us have to take extremely seriously. So I think what's really important is to actually kind of establish before any kind of crisis a very strong base with all of your stakeholders, both internally and externally. So I think you can use reputation insights to help you understand what are the things that stakeholders expect from us as an organization and as a company and then you can try and help build a little bit the uh, credibility in those spaces. So I think understanding your uh, stakeholders expectations first is the most important thing and then during a crisis obviously you have the opportunity to uh, connect with your uh, stakeholders externally and internally to activate them to help you manage a little bit the crisis that you are facing. So there are different ways of doing it, different approaches that you can take, and uh, certainly not forgetting the internal stakeholders is really important. I certainly think that employees are a really important asset in terms of communications. So, I mean, I think often we're very focused on the media, we're focused on social media and the channels that we own and the, the coverage that we can earn through media. But I think um, one shouldn't forget the power that uh, employees have as ambassadors for corporate reputation. So employees play an important role in their social media channels, in their interactions with other people, in helping to tell that corporate story, whatever, whatever that story might be. And I think also at times when things are a little bit more difficult, surely uh, keeping employees informed and engaged and making sure that they understand what's going on inside the organization can also play dividends, definitely. Teamwork is absolutely essential, I think, to effectively managing all situations, but also including crises. And I think within our organization in particular, and many organizations like ours, we don't talk about crisis communications management, we talk about crisis management overall. And I think that sense of having a full uh, multidisciplinary, cross-functional, cross-market um, uh, team in place to manage situations is, is really, really important. So having the structure in place is essential. Also understanding the roles and responsibilities so each individual knows within that team what they are there to do. That's absolutely critical as well. And then the third element, I think, is being very, very clear and very intentional about how that team operates and works together. So things like simulations, rehearsals, if you like, of these types of crisis situations are so essential because that actually helps you then practice that teamwork and make sure that that team is gelling and working well and working effectively together. So, you know, I think simulation can play an important role in actually helping to embed the process, but it's also important in making sure that the team can work um, together. I think social media is um, obviously bringing a massive acceleration in terms of how news and information spreads. It also brings a huge increase in the volume. So it's both volume and velocity in terms of uh, information sharing. I think the other very important part of it is it's democratized, in a sense, uh, the voices that are out there. So, you know, anybody uh, who has got access to social media can obviously share their opinion. And I think, you know, for us as communicators, it's really important to understand those dynamics and to make sure that we're uh, sensitized to how quick quickly things can move and spread around the world as a result of how social media is developing. The big challenge that communications professionals have within today's environment is getting the cut through and getting the uh, ability to actually kind of land messaging in times of crises. I think there are these days so many tradition, so many channels that we can use uh, to pass our message along and also many competing channels and sources of information. What is so important is actually being able to find those channels that will reach the stakeholders and reach the consumers that we want to reach quickly and effectively so that they can hear from an organization what what our perspective is on a particular issue. So cut through, I think, is absolutely the biggest uh, challenge that we have at the moment.